All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of six is equal to x minus one to the power of six. So I'm gonna first start by subtracting x minus one to the power of six on both sides. So then these two cancel out and I get x to the power of six minus x minus one to the power of six is equal to zero. Now I'm gonna rewrite this as x to the power of three to the power of two minus x minus one to the power of three to the power of two is equal to zero. And if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, this can equal x to the power of three plus x minus one to the power of three times x to the power of three minus x minus one to the power of three is equal to zero. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of three plus b to the power of three, this is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared and a to the power of three minus b to the power of three is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. So I'm gonna rewrite this as x to the power of, or sorry, x minus x minus one times, sorry, x plus x minus one times x squared minus x minus one times x plus x minus one squared. And then we have this times x minus x minus one times x squared plus x minus one times x plus x minus one squared. And these two are actually separate equations. So this is equal to zero and this is equal to zero. So let's first start with this here. So x minus x minus one, these two x's cancel out. So I'm simply left with positive one times x squared plus x squared minus x plus x minus one squared. This is equal to x squared minus x minus x plus one, which is x squared minus two x plus one. So we have three x squared minus three x plus one is equal to zero. And to solve this, we can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac over two a, which is equal to three plus or minus, negative three squared is nine minus four times three times one all over two times three, which is equal to three plus or minus the square root of nine minus 12 over six, which is equal to three plus or minus the square root of negative three over six, which is equal to three plus or minus the square root of three i over six. So these are my two solutions. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of four is equal to 16. So I'm gonna first start by subtracting 16 on both sides. So then these two cancel out and I'm left with x to the power of four minus 16 is equal to zero. Now x to the power of four, I'm gonna rewrite as x to the power of two times two and if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of two times two, I can rewrite that as x to the power of two to the power of two minus 16, I'm gonna rewrite as four to the power of two, this is equal to zero.
Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is 4. So now I have x squared plus 4 times x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, this is going to give me two equations. I have x squared plus 4 is equal to 0, and I have x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. So x squared plus 4 equals 0. I can actually subtract 4 on both sides, and I have x squared minus 4, or sorry, x squared is equal to negative 4. Now for x squared minus 4 equals 0, I can add 4 on both sides, and I get x squared is equal to positive 4. Now for x squared equals positive 4, this is pretty simple. We just take the square root on both sides. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 4, that's going to equal positive or negative 2. Now for x squared is equal to negative 4, I'm going to start by doing the same thing. I have the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of negative 4. However, the square root of negative 4, I'm going to rewrite that as the square root of 4 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1 is equal to the imagined number i. So I have this square root of 4 times i. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 4 is positive or negative 2. So I have x is equal to positive negative 2i, and x is equal to positive or negative 2. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 3x squared is equal to 216. So I'm going to first start by rewriting this as x to the power of 3 to the power of x squared is equal to 216. And now I'm going to switch the order of 3 and x squared. So this is the same thing as x to the power of x squared to the power of 3 is equal to 216, I'm going to write as 6 to the power of 3. Now these two 3's can simply cancel out. So now I have x to the power of x squared is equal to 6. Now I'm going to take the power of 2 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of x squared to the power of 2 is equal to 6 squared. And I'm going to switch these two places. So now I have x squared to the power of x squared is equal to 6 squared. And now I can let x squared equal to the variable y. So now I have y to the power of y is equal to 6 squared. And 6 squared, that's the same thing as 36. So now I have y to the power of y is equal to 36. Now if I take the ln on both sides, I get ln y to the power of y is equal to ln 36. And now if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent of b to the front. So that's going to equal b times ln a. So in this case, I can move y to the front. front. So now I have y times ln y is equal to ln 36. Now y is the same thing as e to the power of ln of y because the e and ln cancel out. So, I'm going to replace y with e to the power of ln y. So now I have e to the power of ln y times ln y is equal to ln 36. Now, I'm going to take the w Lambert function on both sides. So I have the w of ln y times e to the power of ln y is equal to w of ln 36. And this results in e to the power of ln y equaling e to the power of w of ln 36. And remember how we let y equal to x squared. So now I have x squared is equal to e 
to the power of w of ln 36. And if I take the square root on both sides, I get x is equal to the square root of e to the power of w of ln 36. And this is plus or minus.